welcome to this patch notes rundown. This automatic update arrives alongside the Shadow and the Blade Lords pack, bringing a huge array of content revisions, balances, bug fixes, and quality of life improvements to the Eye of the Vortex and Mortal Empires campaigns. Even if you haven't purchased the Shadow and the Blade, Deathmaster Snitch, Malice Darkblade, and their attendant factions of Hagrief and Clan Eshin will add their distinctiveness to your campaigns to become potential allies with, or to generally mess up your day. End turn time reduction is the headline improvement in this update. We've made a whole host of optimizations to AI decision making during the end turn, which particularly helps in the latter stages of a campaign. These improvements reduce the time it takes for each faction to take its turn when you hit the end turn button. This benefits players on all system specifications, but will vary according to individual specs. Faction naming changes. Old world factions and some new old factions will no longer use the name of their race, but instead will have their own unique faction name. For example, dwarves will now go by Karaz Akarak, and the vampire counts are known as Sylvania. Godric and Felix weren't as powerful as you'd have liked. We've responded with a number of buffs and quality of life improvements. For example, Godric and Felix are now exempted from supply lines costs and have had their duration boosted to 30 turns. Campaign balance changes. After hearing your feedback and assessing our data, we've made numerous small but meaningful tweaks to campaign balance to improve the gameplay flow for various factions. There's also nuggets of additional content, such as a new late game dilemma for Reichland to spend excess prestige. Clan Pestilence have received some additional plaguey goodness to spice up their campaign. Amongst other things, Clan Pestilence now enjoys uniquely large benefits for spreading plagues to their own forces and cities, granting growth and economic benefits for cities and powerful combat bonuses for forces. Please check the full notes to find out if the changes affect your favorite factions. You asked for it and it's finally here. Black Arcs have received a mechanical overhaul to diversify their gameplay. You can see it in action in our Malice Darkblade Let's Play. Black Arcs are now full characters with access to items, skills, and traits. They can blockade ports and attack coastal settlements. They even have access to unique skills that further improve their army. We've heard you loud and clear regarding the various hidden unique items, and we've enacted the following changes. All previously hidden unique items are now visible in the skill tree of the relevant character. Hidden unique items now always trigger at a specified level instead of randomly generating. Hidden unique items now trigger in both the Eye of the Vortex and Mortal Empires campaigns. In addition, players can now use campaign exclusive units in custom battles. You can find these units in their own category near the bottom of the roster. There are also buckets of bug fixes that should improve the overall experience. For example, you should see a slight improvement to frame rates and loading times in both campaign and battle. Oh, and 16 new achievements have been added. As for battle balance, we felt that heavily armored units were being unfairly punished. So we've made a significant change to the knockdown system, which will regularly see heavily armored units getting up substantially faster after being knocked down. Our battle AI is always growing stronger, and from now on, it shouldn't activate healing abilities immediately when taking damage. 31 on-foot units have had animation metadata tweaks, making several of their splash attacks bigger. We've also continued to fine-tune battle balance with a number of stat, spell, and ability changes. There's too many to mention here, but please check the full notes in the description to get an edge in your battles. 